Hi everyone, I'm Professor Christopher Yip, the Dean of the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering here at University of Toronto, also a faculty member in Chemical Engineering and Biomedical Engineering, and I want to be among the first to welcome you to graduate studies here at U of T, including two of my own students who are just starting uh, their PhD work as well in my own group. So um, welcome to school, welcome to U of T. It's a little bit of a different year, as you can expect, uh, seeing as I'm greeting you in video instead of in person. Um, but uh, lots of exciting stuff ahead for you. Uh, I don't need to tell you about the tremendous opportunities that uh, we have in store for you, the uh, opportunities to collaborate, to work with uh, international uh, uh, partnerships, uh, industry collaborations, and just the tremendous resources that the university has uh, in store for you as you start to launch your research career. So I don't need to tell you about all that sort of stuff. That's exactly why you've, you've decided to, to start your research programs here at U of T. But I'm here to talk about some of the other uh, support mechanisms that we have in place uh, to help you both in your research career, but as well with your professional development. Uh, everything from our prospective professors in training program, which helps uh, help those who are interested in careers in academia who want to be professors uh, understand what that process is and what's involved, uh, to our options program, which is for those of you who are interested in doing your graduate work but then are looking at other careers in other areas in industry or in the government or in other sectors, uh, that's a tremendous opportunity as well. And then we have our PACS program, which is there is peer to peer. Uh, discussions you can have with other graduate students to try to understand what everyone's going through in their own ways. Uh, it's a really an exciting time to be a grad student. Uh, I certainly remember well uh, what I went through as a grad student and uh, all the challenges, the, uh, the opportunities, and really the, um, the, just the exciting things that you can do while you're, in, uh, while you're doing grad school. Um, one of the first things we also set up in for you is uh, we have a remote access guarantee in place so that uh, anyone who starts their programs remote, you can certainly complete all your academic uh, requirements uh, remotely, which means that, uh, especially for this first semester, all your courses you can complete them online and, and that'll be uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, for the labs, we've been working really hard, frankly, over the over the summer and with your supervisors to, to get your labs ready to, to work out how uh, people are going to be able to do their experiments and access the labs in a safe and uh, secure manner uh, going forward. So uh, please work with your supervisors on that. Uh, we've, we've worked out all the different intricacies and schedules and, and ways that we can have people start their projects up, uh, even if you happen to be starting uh, remotely in the fall, uh, it, whether that's uh, doing some initial computational work or some literature surveys or just getting online and talking to your research group to find out how things roll. So uh, please, please be in touch with your supervisors uh, and uh, to figure out how all that's going to roll out. Um, but in addition to that, uh, we've got lots of other support mechanisms in place. Uh, please be aware that uh, uh, supports like the U of T My Student Support Program is in place. With, uh, if there's any kind of challenges you run into, you can reach out to those folks. Uh, from real time and an appointment 24-7. Uh, uh, if anything does come up, uh, please reach out if you have uh, any, any questions or needs. And uh, GECOS, which is the Graduate Engineering uh, Council of Students, has another tremendous program. Uh, they actually have an online um, uh, community on the Quarkus system, which will allow you to get in touch with uh, all the other graduate students in the programs and, and really just get a sense of, of what the community is like and uh, start to interact with folks and, and, and uh, just build that uh, sense of neighborhood in a community, which is really what U of T Engineering is all about. Exciting times ahead for everyone. I'm really glad you've decided to join uh, U of T Engineering for your graduate program. I certainly look forward to hearing from all of you about what you're doing. Uh, so please reach out, feel free to drop me a note. Happy to always grab a virtual coffee with folks or when we actually get back in person, love to meet up one-on-one -on -one and, and hear about your programs, hear what you're doing, uh, hear about the opportunities uh, and things that we'd love to uh, uh, set up for you. If you see opportunities out there, uh, if there are resources you'd like us to work together, uh, to put together, uh, please feel free to reach out, uh, get in touch, and let me know what you'd like to do. So uh, congratulations again on joining U of T Engineering. Look forward to hearing how your programs go. Uh, can't wait uh, to meet up with everyone in person. So welcome to school.